Penny's First Aid Drill Firefighter Penny Morris was at Pontypandy Fire Station to demonstrate first aid techniques. She watched with Station Officer Steele as Fireman Sam carried Henry, the rescue dummy, down from the training tower. Easy does it, Fireman Sam, called Station Officer Steele. No problem, sir, replied Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam placed the dummy on the ground. Now we'll demonstrate how to apply artificial resuscitation, said Penny. It was called the kiss of life in my day, said Station Officer Steele. I'll volunteer, Elvis piped up hopefully. Not you, Elvis, chuckled Penny. I'll demonstrate on Henry. Meanwhile, Trevor Evans was preparing to paint Dillis Price's shop for her. It's overdue for a quart of paint, Dillis, said Trevor, studying the flaking paint on the stockroom window. I only had it painted ten years ago, said Dillis. Well, nothing lasts nowadays, Dillis, chuckled Trevor. By midday, Trevor had begun removing the old paint from the window using a blow lamp and scraper. Norman Price was in his bedroom high above when he spotted Trevor through his window. Now for some fun, he giggled as he grabbed his water pistol and aimed at Trevor. Trevor had just lit his blow lamp and was softening the paint on the window frame. This shouldn't take long, he said. Just then, Norman squirted the top of Trevor's head with a jet of water. What on earth? yelled Trevor, jumping back in surprise and dropping the blow lamp. Where did that water come from? wondered Trevor as he peered up and down the street. Inside the stockroom, the blow lamp had set alight a pile of empty boxes. Trevor saw the smoke billowing through the window. He ran inside the shop. Leave the shop and phone the fire brigade, Dillis! He shouted as he looked for the fire extinguisher. Your stockroom's on fire! Heavens! cried Dillis. I must get Norman! By the time Trevor had returned to the stockroom, it was really blazing. Come on, Norman, shouted Dillis. We must get out at once. The shop's on fire. But Norman couldn't get downstairs through the smoke. Oh, no, he cried. What shall I do? Back at the fire station, the first aid demonstration was still going on. Elvis, you did want to volunteer, didn't you? Said Penny as she tied a sling round his neck. Right, we'll bandage your head next. Oh, ah, oh, wailed Elvis. You're a first-rate actor, Elvis, laughed Penny. Now sit still. Suddenly, Station Officer Steele burst in. Jump to it, he ordered. There's a fire at Dillis's shop. What about my bandages? asked Elvis. There's no time, replied Station Officer Steele. Firefighter Morris will go instead. Elvis watched forlornly as Penny climbed aboard Jupiter, followed quickly by Station Officer Steele and Fireman Sam. Right, Fireman Sam, let's go, said Station Officer Steele. Jupiter sped towards Ponty Pandy, her siren blaring and lights flashing. Hurry, Fireman Sam, said Station Officer Steele. If we're not quick, the whole of Ponty Pandy will be on fire. Hang on to your helmets, replied Fireman Sam as Jupiter roared down the hill. Jupiter squeaked to a halt outside the shop. As the firefighters jumped out, they saw Trevor trying to fight the blaze with the fire extinguisher. Thank goodness you've arrived, he explained. The fire's getting out of control. And my Norman's trapped upstairs, cried Dillis in a panic. Help, Mum! wailed Norman from the bedroom window. Don't worry, Dillis, replied Fireman Sam. We'll soon have Norman down safely. While Penny set about rescuing Norman, Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steele uncoiled the hoses from Jupiter. We've arrived just in time, sir, said Fireman Sam as he aimed a stream of water into the stockroom. A moment later and the whole shop would have gone up in flames. Penny, meanwhile, had unloaded the ladder. She positioned it against the bedroom windowsill. Help! Help! cried Norman. My poor little darling! wailed Dillis. Stay right there, Norman, called Penny. I'm coming up to get you. Quickly, Penny climbed the ladder to reach Norman. With Penny's help... He scrambled out of the window and onto her shoulder. Steady, Norman, she cried as they inched down the ladder. Don't drop him, cried Dillis anxiously. Penny placed Norman gently down on the pavement. Are you all right, Norman? she asked. All right, clucked Dillis. Poor thing's as white as a sheet. He'll have to go straight upstairs to bed. Not until the fire is out and the building is made safe again, said Penny. Straight to bed, thought Norman. This means no school this afternoon. Norman moaned and closed his eyes. He's fainted. Poor darling, cried Dillis. Just then, Fireman Sam appeared. Well, the fire's out, he said. How's Norman? 
He was fine, but then he suddenly fainted, said Penny. It's the shock I see, said Dillis. He may have inhaled some smoke, said Penny. Not very likely, thought Sam. In that case, there's only one thing... In that case, there's only one thing for it, he said. You'll have to give him the kiss of life, Penny. Norman opened one eye. Kiss of life, he echoed. He jumped to his feet, blushing at the thought. That was a quick recovery, said Penny. Good thing this first aid, chuckled Fireman Sam. Cured in seconds. That's a brave little darling, said Dillis. He takes after his mum. So, all's well that ends well, said Fireman Sam. How did the fire start in the first place? I'm to blame, said Trevor. I got squirted with water and dropped the blow lamp. Perhaps that had something to do with it, said Fireman Sam, pointing to a water pistol sticking out of Norman's pocket. You little terror, cried Dillis, tweaking Norman's ear. As you're fit and healthy, you can help me clear up the stockroom. Oh, mum, wailed Norman. As Norman was led off by Dillis, Fireman Sam and Firefighter Penny Morris packed up the hoses and made their way back to the station. They arrived to find Elvis sitting glumly in a mess of bandages. What's up, Elvis? asked Fireman Sam. I haven't been able to cook the tea with my arm bandaged up, moaned Elvis. Splendid, said Station Officer Steele. In that case, it's supper at Bella's Cafe, chuckled Fireman Sam. Penny, I think this first aid training is a very good idea.